Italia. <coughs> if something is rotten, the most pigeons I ever saw, I think, in my life, guys. Fish heads for you, fish heads lovers. It's good that you cannot feel the smell. Deserves a photo. Hey guys, in this video, I'm going, we are going to one of the most strangest and as they say, dangerous neighborhoods in Tel Aviv. So I've been there, I think like a year, year and a half ago. And I have a really mixed feelings about this, but I haven't made any kind of video or any kind of blog so I just made a couple of street photography photos. So uh, uh, in this time, I want to share my experience in some uh, really, really mixed areas. What I mean about the mixed areas is that uh, in this part of Tel Aviv, there are a lot of immigrants, okay? And most of them came from Africa and Sri Lanka and apparently China as well. But, uh, you know, there is a lot of mystery for me. Uh, uh, and I would like to uh, share this video. So join me to this small journey. It's, uh, I'm going not by myself, I'm going together with my friend. This is Bova. <laughs> This is uh, the northern area of Tel Aviv. So check it out. You can feel the, the vibe here. This is a guy enjoying himself with some kind of uh, nice cold beer. So we're going in this direction. I think it's about a couple of minutes of walk. You get some uh, living areas. You know, there is no big city without a lot of pigeons in it, right? Okay, so this is partially the vibe of Tel Aviv. You ha can see this kind of contrast between this uh, fancy cars and fancy living and less fancy areas. But uh, we're gonna get to this soon. Uh, I placed this kind of filter on my cam so it make the images a little bit darker because I thought uh, the sun is going to be really, really intense today. So it can make it more smooth and better looking for you. There is some kind of a nice Tel Avivian old school building, right? So you can see the contrast. The, you can feel the vibe of the place and on the other side of the street you can actually see this is the newer building so this is how it starts to look right now in the within the past few years <laughs> yeah so you can see it's uh, so we're entering the the neighborhood we're about to enter the this whole area so it looks kind of chill you know doesn't look intimidating or intense at all. Some guy delivering a food. I mean, but you can see the streets are not in the best shape. And the smell is not amazing here as well. You can trust me on this one. take a look at this area and take a look at this building as you see there is a there is a big difference so this is apparently obviously the newer one and this is how most of the buildings in this neighborhood look like so if you want to come to Tel Aviv and take a nice selfie <laughs> you get some uh, interesting variations here but honestly guys this is um, there is a lot of a lot of rubbish here as you can see in the streets as we entering this uh, neighborhood 
I think you can call it the Lavinsky neighborhood. And, I mean, the vibe that you can feel here is completely different from what we saw a couple of streets ago, a couple of blocks ago. Just, just for you to look, you can see. You can see here some uh, nice place. Italia? No. Russia. Okay. Откуда я с России? А, не, не именно здесь, не здесь. Okay. хорошего дня. Okay, so apparently these guys told me that they are from Moldavia and they work in this area, so they live close by. I just wanted to ask them how they feel living in this kind of neighborhood. So, uh, yeah. I mean, it's pretty dirty here. Look around. Okay. Okay, I'm in the middle of the street, guys. I don't think it's, <laughs> it's a right call. Or maybe it's not even actually matters here. Because <coughs> this is a strong smell. Wow. Uh, if something is rotten right here. Whew. Okay, so check out. You have some kind of restaurants, local restaurants. I guess this is uh, some local cuisines of uh, the residents of the immigrants that live in this area. Check it out. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so usually when you go to Tel Aviv and you see the pictures of Tel Aviv, <clears throat> I don't think that you will see this area. <clears throat> and uh, there are some reasons for that. This is not as photogenic. <laughs> oh, wow, the smell is really intense. <clears throat> Okay, so we on the Bnei Brak Street. So you can see some uh, local shops here. And this is the most pigeons I ever saw, I think, in my life, guys. Maybe beside uh, Sri Lanka or something. There are a lot of pigeons. Okay, so it's very very lively neighborhood there is there is a lot of vibe there is a lot of things going on simultaneously so you can see some uh, local shops are open this is a really mix of so many different cultures right so many different nations placed in this small area of just a few streets so uh, that, that's what you get. That's the mishmash that you get. <laughs> every, I think every country Every region is really represented here by this small kind of shops and restaurants. And this is where the people from a certain country uh, come to hang out, right? It's very vibrant, very vibrant. And you know what is the funny part? Like most of the people that I know that do live in Tel Aviv for many years never ever have been here, like at all. Oh, this is the fish market. 
Let's have a look. Давай посмотрим, может, там. Интересно будет. Let's have a look what we have. Inside this lovely fish market. Do we need a mask? I don't know. Oh, take a look. So many fish goodness around. Some shrimps. Right? Some squids. And it smells really fresh, you know? Some fish heads for you fish heads lovers. So, uh, yeah, there's something written, I think, in Chinese. Maybe I'm mistaken. I think we, we came to the end of the street. Let's see if there, uh, if there is something interesting around here. I would actually like to come into this, some kind of restaurant, you know, just have a drink or a beer or a coffee. You know, just to feel the vibe. Check it out. So this is, uh, I think this is some kind of Turkish, maybe Turkish restaurant. But it feel like a very Thai vibe, you know, because in Thailand they have so many restaurants with uh, this kind of tables and they sit outside usually and drink the beer and eat the food and talk to each other so you do feel this some kind of Thai influence I think among many others <laughs> So uh, Vova is uh, checking the store because he really likes the seafood and in Israel we don't have so many uh, fresh seafood shops around, mostly because it's not kosher, so uh, you don't see that many options here. But they do have a really fresh fish, you can smell it actually, it smells like an ocean. Yeah. So we're going, we continue continuing our journey among this street. I wonder what is the name of this street? Yeah, we have some kind of uh, nice change here. And some kind of interesting music. I'm not so sure what this language, but... Uh, yeah. So we're coming to this central bus station. And uh, because of this central bus station, that's one of the reasons that we have this kind of neighborhood around. Because it's really close to the public transport, so the people can compute. So the people, the immigrants can actually commute. Now, I know that this area is actually, can get pretty aggressive and even dangerous at night, you know? But we are safe now. Yeah, Vova, I said that we are now... We are now in There's some kind of a meat shop. Guys, but you know, overall, right here, the smell is, it's, it's good that you cannot feel the smell. It is not amazing. So, so that's it. I think we should uh, hit back to the previous streets. Maybe we'll find something more interesting.
So you have some kind of uh, fried sweets in this pod. Some pizza shop. Hey, what is up? Okay, so yeah, you can definitely see so many different people in just one single small spot in this area. And uh, it feels really different from the rest of the Tel Aviv, that's for sure. <laughs> so we're heading up uh, to the street that we came from. So we will see if we can find something interesting there as well. Check out the views. <laughs> so guys, if you fancy for some nice uh, moisturizer, you can check, we have this kind of uh, lovely store. <laughs> Bova say it deserves a photo. <laughs> so you can see here, this is the tops of some of the buildings here. And check out this really cool street art piece, right? I don't know if you can see it. But yeah. So we will continue head up to this street. See if we can find some kind of action there. And most of the stores are closed today because it's uh, Shabbat in Israel. So the stores and local businesses, most of them don't work in Shabbat. But in this area, you can see that it doesn't really matter. Uh, everything is open. You know, they're open for, they're open for business. A lot of customers, a lot of beer probably, a lot of food, a lot of different other things and substances, probably, allegedly. <clears throat> so check out, this is this is the newer buildings. You can see the skyscrapers on the other side of the Tel Aviv, which is actually the same city, but uh, it's really, re really doesn't feel this way. Okay. This is uh, some uh, local street art as well. Right. So, uh, you know, with the most areas of Israel, uh, most of the cities are really clean, but this is not the case here, for sure. Cleanliness is not the main priority of this place. Ah, you got some uh, dry cleaning. Cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> some cocaine, as Vova says. I hope they will not block me on YouTube for this. <laughs> Exposing other people's businesses. <laughs> so I haven't seen this kind of store in a while. This is an internet cafe. It's been a while. <laughs> okay, so apparently this guy was not that happy, so I'm filming the street. <laughs> well, you have different types of people around this area, you know, what can you do? Not everybody happy by being filmed. So we're going back to the Levinsky Market which is actually a really cool area. And uh, I just want you to show a few shots of this area so you can see the change just around a couple of blocks away. 
Okay, guys, so we came to this uh, Levinsky Market area, which is a really cool place. I just want you to check it out. There is a lot of street art and a really nice places to eat and a great coffee. So uh, usually it's really packed, you know, in the evenings it's really packed. You, have, you can see uh, there is a lot of people coming here to have a beer, have a drink, have something to eat. And uh, <clears throat> you don't have any cars in this area, so this is pretty great. So uh, you can just uh, sit around, you know, enjoy the views. Yeah, <clears throat> it feels completely different from uh, the previous area, the previous neighborhood. And this is, I think, partly what is so interesting about this city, about Tel Aviv. You can, you can see and you can feel so many different contrasts and uh, so many different styles and so many different people mixed into this uh, pretty small area. Check it out. That's what I was talking about, exactly. You can feel the contrast, right? <laughs> I mean, we just actually, literally we saw like people uh, laying on the streets banging for food or whatever and then you can see the other areas as well if you come here in the evening you can see that is really packed here there is a lot of people sitting drinking having fun so yeah all right guys uh that was about it uh, i think we gonna head up now to get some coffee okay so that's about it guys uh, thank thank you for joining me for this small tour and uh, thank you so much for watching this video so uh, of course I will see you in the next one and I hope you have a great week peace